got head coach Jason Lammers. I'm going to open it up for his uh, first thoughts and then we'll do some questions. Yeah, I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you. Thank you for uh, supporting our team and, and writing on college hockey. We appreciate it. Thought, uh, thought our offense uh, really gave us a kickstart and liked the shots that we got. We got a lot of shots. I think that's the first time we've outshot somebody in a while, so that was uh, really good. Uh, nice, nice phone call from a couple alumni about what they saw against our games in Penn State, so it was good to hear from people supporting the program. It's good to see our culture come through. I'll, I'll tweet about it here in a little bit, but our group got a 3.65 their GPA, so it's cool to see them grow as, uh, as students, as people, and as players, and, and ultimately grow into men, and that's how we'll be measured down the road. Defensively, obviously, you want to make some adjustments, and uh, to Holy Cross's credit, they, they put a good push on us in the third, and we're still learning and growing in those situations. So special teams, uh, you know, obviously, I thought our PK did a real good job, and uh, it would have been nice to, to get a power play goal there, but we're going to keep working on it. I thought we had some good looks and some good shots on the power play. Six shots on the power play, that's, that's a good sign. Jason, what about the house after the, the third goal so late in the second period would have given you a huge boost? And yeah. They just came out and blew with you. And yeah. Give them credit, I guess. Yeah, no, give them credit. I mean, Coach Brard's a good coach, and, and they're a good team. and. I, but I agree with you. I, I thought we were in a real good spot, and I liked how we answered their goal with, with ours and to be up 3-1. It, it's a maturing moment for our team. It's something that we got to continue to grow through and, and get better. And, and guys have to know that push is coming, and you have to make some different decisions with the puck uh, in those first five minutes that kind of take away their hope. Now, the uh, first two goals in particular were uh, world class, might be an overstatement, but sort of clearly big time goals. Uh, Goings, I think, made a different yeah. fabulous move coming down, and the second goal was a picture per perfect passing play. Yeah, couldn't no. Ask for more. Yeah, no, couldn't ask for more. We, you know, we outshot them 12-5. I think the first first 30 minutes, I went back and looked. We gave up five shots, five on five. So I, I really, I really loved our game. I, up until that point, I, I love our guys. We're just going to keep loving them and working to build those relationships to help them get better. Maybe some of the little details and choices that they make. I would think, Jason, this was a, a chance to get to 500 in the conference, yeah. and that maybe hurts a little bit. That would have been a nice stepping stone here. Yeah, it would have been a great milestone for our group. Again, playing coming off the Penn State weekend, that everybody was real proud of how we played and how hard we competed, and uh, to get to 500 with some of the things we've been through and, and the challenges we've had with the schedule and whatnot would have been great. But to your point, uh, we got to work a little harder, mm -hmm. and, and starts tomorrow again for us. You happy to get another chance so soon? Yeah, that's what that's what I love about college hockey, right? You don't get to you don't get to sit on it too long, and and the four o'clock game tomorrow too should help us. I think our guys are in great shape and uh, will respond well. From a first time viewer standpoint, such as myself, I look through the the season and it looks like I know there's there's different teams that are you go up and down on on, on strength of schedule, or whatever. But yeah. uh, you've been a little streaky, or whatever. Is that just? All part of the growing process, or yeah, no. I, again, we're we're a maturing team. I think if you look closely at our lineup, number of juniors and seniors and and, and seniors that we have, it's we just got to keep growing, right, and and keep maturing. It's it's uh, tonight was an indication of kind of how we can be so good and we can <laughs> then not be very good, you know, at the, at the same time. But it's all those not great plays are very correctable and, and we have a really coachable team so I think we'll be able to make some adjustments there. So good and bad things is you on the video tomorrow. Oh yeah, yeah, no, there'll be some pros and cons for sure. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good for me. Yeah. Thanks, bud. Uh, question in the back here. Do you think your guys got tired in the third period and what did you say after this loss? Yeah, I, you know what, I, I don't think our guys got tired. I, I don't know that they were as sharp or ready for the fight that was needed in the third period. I appreciate you asking that question. It's a really good question. And what did I say to them after? Kind of what I just said to Bud, that we, we really love them and we're going to outsign some here. We need them to roll and stretch and eat in the first 45 minutes here getting off the ice. And then you can come out and say hi to your parents, but let's outsign some so that we can outcompete them tomorrow so that we're not tired to answer your question. Uh, but our guys have worked really hard on their conditioning, so I, I don't think it was a tired issue. I think it was more of a mental challenge for them. 
Right, well, that's it. We'll wrap it up. See you guys tomorrow. All right. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the questions.